and this is how I'm going to do my fish. So this is the first one, which is the tilapia. This is what I have, and I'll show you what I do. So I'm going to be using salt. Um, I'll also be using black pepper, and I'm also going to be using this mix. This is a mix of ginger and garlic. Um, the other thing to notice is my left hand is the fish hand. My right hand is the is the clean hand so I can touch my spices with the right but not the left because I don't want to contaminate everything so the first thing I do is I don't use extra oil with it so uh, I need to spice the inside because I don't really like the flavor from the inside of the fish so I'm just going to put um, just the three things uh, pepper salt and a lot of it I do peel it out but if I don't clean it, I feel like it penetrates through into my fish. So I put salt. Um, I don't I really do not complicate this at all. And then I put the ginger and garlic mix. Um, and then I put the pepper. I'm not very keen on pepper. This is my husband's. My husband likes pepper, but, uh, but I will try a bit. So I've put quite a lot of salt, but it's fine because what happens is uh, it does not all penetrate into the fish. So I then just rub it through. Um, I don't need a lot of spicing on tilapia because I like the natural flavor of tilapia. And so yeah, that's all I'll do with the tilapia. And so I'm gonna move it aside whilst I do the same with my husband's fish. So my husband is not keen on tilapia, he prefers uh, sea bass and I will after this I'll show a video of how I've cleaned this up so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing so I'm gonna go quiet so my husband does not like full what doesn't it likes fish but he's not always liked fish. Uh, he's always had, he's had a lot of fillet fish and he's not trying full fish. That's why I cut the head out on this one. But then I think I won't, I'll be cutting the head off after it's cooked next time. Uh, because when it's so exposed, it's going to lose some moisture when I'm cooking in the air fryer. So leaving the head on will help contain the moisture. And so, yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up and they'll be going into the air fryer. And here the fish is all cooked. I cooked it in the air fryer, uh, baked it for 15 minutes and air fried it for 10 minutes. And as you can see, the skin uh, was left on the foil. And here I am going to clean up the prawns for my son. He does not like to deal with the tail, so I have to take them out for him. I also take the vein out. So once this is all washed, I'm going to add salt as well as uh, some garlic and ginger. I do not use pepper for him because he doesn't like it. And I cooked it in the air fryer for eight minutes. And then serve this with um, grapes, green grapes he prefers. And that was his meal for that day. And here I am cleaning the fish I got from the market. I got two bags of tilapia, which was eight tilapias for 10 pounds and four sebas for 15 pounds. So sebas is much more expensive than tilapia. The tilapia is already cooked and frozen. And so I just need to defrost it. The sebas still got the scales on and the internal organs. So I've got to clean that out. So I submerge this in water and when I take the scales, I scrub the scales off. They don't fly everywhere, they remain in the water. I also try to get some of these um, sharp fins off because I don't want to deal with that. And then take the internal organs, cutting out the underbelly of the fish because my husband is not going to eat that. He's quite particular about his fish. Uh, the fir on the first fish, I took out the head because he does not eat the head either. But in the rest of the seabirds, I did not take out the fish. As I explained on the video, I will be cutting it out after it's cooked. And so I just carry on cleaning the fish. 
which I find um, a very cumbersome job because I've got to clean the sink and the kitchen area all over again to avoid contamination. Um, and as you can find with these fish, I get better with cleaning the fish. So, yeah. So we're trying to eat more fish. Uh, my husband only really eats sea bass and monkfish. I do eat a variety more fish. I do eat trout and I do eat salmon and we get those two from Costco. Uh, but my husband only eats really sea bass and monkfish. Um, I'm more experimental with fish than he is. Uh, we also like to eat prawns, but they're too expensive at the moment. We just cannot afford it, so only my son gets to eat that. And so, yeah, that's how I clean the fish. And I'll shortly be showing you how I freeze um, how I freeze the fish, uh, the three other pieces of fish. Here we go. I freeze them separately. And the scales, I have to be in this because they really do clog up the sink. And so, yeah, that will be it. And thank you very much for watching.